Oh yes. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be. Well, I'm back down here at Hasita Head. This is called Hasita Head. We're on a minus tide today, so I can really get out far and look back. And um, We might be able to see a lighthouse up here. I've seen the light was on warning ships today. So anyway, we're going to go over here. I think I might go over here first and look at this one cave here first. And then we're going to go over here and look at these other caves. And, and the reason I'm doing this is I'm trying to work with Roger Spur here at Mud Fossil University. And there's something that he showed that he thought might be a cervix. And um, I don't believe it is at all. And I'll show you why. But there's a whole bunch of caves along here, okay? All through there. And we'll take a look at them in a minute. Now, there's material been flowing out of these caves, okay? So this material is not lava. It's not intrusive basalt. These are not lava tubes. Some of them have stuff flowing out. Some don't. So, geology believes that this is uh, volcanic. See, and there is, there is volcanism on the planet, but not all is volcanism. And you have to be able to discern between the volcanism and what is biology. And sometimes it's hard to tell because the volcanism can look like the biology. They, um, there can be molten stuff pour out of a volcano and then it can look like something that it's actually not. You understand what I'm saying? So we got to be very careful. Now I can come to this site anytime I want. It's only 17 miles as the bird flies, an hour from my house driving, so I can come here anytime I want. Now, in all my videos, you can look at 300 of my videos and they're all of the same creature, okay? The membrane, the tendon balls, the interstitium, uh, vascular systems, all of it is of the same creature. It's not a bunch of body parts laying around. And this is not a human. This is not a human. Okay, I'm not sure what, I believe it's avian reptilian because I never, I found no sweat glands on the hair follicles. So there's nothing in any of my videos, nothing that is of a different carcass. It's all the same carcass. So I'm going to go over here because I want to show you this one, I believe I can get to it, this one cave that's actually massive. So that's what I'm talking about. If, if that would have been a cervix over there, we'll go look at it. It would fit inside some of these caves three or four fold. Does that make sense? So, and another thing, my videos, you need to watch them in sequence and you need to watch all the videos, you, not just bits and pieces. Because when you, you, when you look at bits and pieces, you'll draw conclusions that aren't true because you're not watching them all. Now, I, I spend a lot of time doing this. This will, this will probably be a three or a four part series, okay? Yeah, the light is on up there, but it's hard for us to see it because we're below... Oh, you can barely barely see it here. There it goes But anyway, I do this in a series. This is gonna be a part one There'll be a part two and a part three and you got to watch them all. I just repaired some leaks in my boots Let's hope it worked. So but you, oh, yeah, but you got to watch all my videos in a sequence to understand You can't just watch a little bit and think this is that because what happens is you'll pick bits and pieces out of a video And you'll think it's something that it's not Okay, I do this for a reason. I do the series in a reason, okay? For a reason, I mean. So let's go over here and take a look at this one, and then we're gonna pop back over to there, okay? Oh, I'm not so sure I can even get into it yet. Oh, I might be able to get over those rocks, and because there's this one certain specific, oh, I can, it's right here. Now this thing's massive, it's over, it's, it's over 40 feet tall, okay? And I'm going to look at this, and then I'm going to go over to the one over there, specifically the one that people are thinking is a cervix, and we'll start on it. But look at this thing. I can't get all the way into it because of the water in the entrance, okay? But this is one. Now, see that seam up there? Just like the seam that is what's being called a cervix. It's not a cervix, okay? Let's look at the size of this thing. I mean, it's, it's probably 25 feet wide and 40 feet tall that's what that is and i can't get into it because all this water i wanted to get into it bad i'd have to wade and i'm not, it's just not going to do it. it's not worth it but it's got the seam up there too just like what is being called a cervix and what's being called a cervix probably eight of them would fit in that opening i believe this is a vascular network is what i'm showing you okay i don't know if it's capillaries and arteries but i believe that's what's going on but you can see what this is right here there's another small one right there. 
okay so I can't get any further over there right now and but I want you to see this one if I could walk up and stand in there to blow your mind how big that is it's about another oh 100 feet from me but it's it's really big all right so now we're gonna boogie back over here and I'll show you all those caves right there and then uh, I'm gonna show you the material flowing out of them but first we're gonna look at the one that people are thinking is a cervix okay it's a minus tide so I can stand way back and show you all these caves along here from a distance and you kind of get an idea okay there's a total of 21 caves here counting the ones over there and the ones here 21 and these are not lava tubes okay you're gonna see material flowing out of some of them and they're not lava tubes lava pur it, it, go, it purges it'll, it'll get a big purge and flow for a while then another purge and it builds up on the walls and then it, it creates a caking a layering and that layering falls off there's none of that here geology cannot tell the difference okay that's just the bottom line anyway there's a cave over there one there one there one there one there and some more on around but we're going to go look at a specific one to start with and then we're going to backtrack and come to these other ones okay and that way you'll have an idea see how big some of those are like that one and that one over there okay now material slowed out of almost all these that one for sure that one uh, and a couple more over here but you can see the openings one there one there one there one there for you know, right here in front of us <clears throat> They're all along there in a row. From clear over there, clear over to here, okay? And all this material you see right here came out of those caves. And they're, they're not lava tubes, absolutely. You can go up and look at lava tubes. You can look at ones above ground, you can look at ones in the water, and you will see that lava looks nothing like this. And it's not intrusive basalt that flowed at them, or even extrusive basalt, which would be lava. So magma, okay? So let's go over here. We'll come back to these. Let's go over here and look at the one. See, this material flowed right out of there. You can, I've done videos on this before, and I believe there's valves in them. But this material came out of here, and this is not lava. This is absolutely not. Listen, I've been to lava flows. I just got through seeing eight volcanoes here the other day. Oh, two months ago, I was at eight volcanoes here, you know, three hours from my house. I understand lava. I understand what heat does to lava, makes it ceramic, and it, it's light, it's porous, and this is nothing like it. Nothing like it. This stuff's really slick. Here's another one in here. See, they're filled, some of them are filled in with sand. See the seam? A lot of them have that seam and it wouldn't be a bunch of vaginas laying here side by side <laughs> excuse my french you got another one in there that's filled in with sand you got another one there that filled in with sand i believe that's the one that people were thinking is a cervix it's filled in with rocks right now so it's gonna be hard to see see that's this debris didn't used to be here but that right there is what is being called a cervix. Hold on a minute. Shining a little light on it here. I brought a light so I can. But this is not a cervix. That's what's being called a cervix right, right there. I'm sorry, but it, it's not, okay? You look at the sides and you see all this stuff here in it, this material. You know, it's not, and also it's not a lava tube. This, is no, this has nothing to do with volcanism, absolutely not. But that's what's being called, because there's actually a split right down there, and you got this seam right here. See this seam? Now, I'll show you one that's massive beside it that has that same seam in just a minute, okay? See that seam? Now, geologists would say, well, that's just from water running down there that's done that. No, it hasn't. It, it's, it's different than that or that, okay? So, sorry it's filled in with stuff, but that's what happens with the ocean. This is the sides of it. And a lot of this is sandstone. 
A lot of this is sandstone. It's intermixed with some other material, um, and I'm not sure what. It's not diorite or any type of granite, but this is like a, a sandstone, okay? But you got this one here right beside that one. It's all filled in. Now, this has no seam on it, okay? But it does have chunks that pop off, okay? These chunks pop off, see? This all comes off, there's seams and these come off. They come off and fall. Vulcanism does not do that like this at all, okay? If you would, <laughs> this is not, sandstone, silicon dioxide should not be here if these are lava tubes. So if you're a geologist, see, and most geologists, all they do is go and regurgitate and repeat what they're told to repeat because they look on a little handheld and then they go do something. This one here is all destroyed. This is another one. Okay. And it's all filled in. All these came from up there at one time, just like I showed you over there, and they popped off and they're laying here. Okay. I don't know how deep that went. I, just, I don't know. It's all filled in and destroyed now. You can see it like I see it. Yeah, this stuff is... And what's underneath it... This is a mixture of sandstone and some kind of aggregate. And it's not, this is not from a sedimentary deposit. Okay? Absolutely not. I'm trying to find some here I can bust off, possibly. It's hard to do holding the camera, too. Yeah. I got some here on the ground, but you see these chunks in it too? Here's some that I broke off. And it, it, you can, you know, I can bust up in my hand. It's not hard at all. In fact, on a, the, there's a Mo scale, a, what's that scale for hardness? I believe it'd only be about a, a two. But see, Geologists believe this is volcanism. I've looked at what this site's supposed to be here in Oregon. It's, they believe it's volcanism. It's not. See, I've showed this before, you know, that stuff stuck to the sides. So I'm going to go show you one of this, this cave over here that I believe is an artery. And it's a lot bigger than that cervix. And a cervix is uh, dependent on a cervix is 2.5 to 3.7 centimeters. Pulmonary arteries are that same size or bigger or whatever and then, then you got you know veins and you know um, aortas and stuff that are bigger so you see all that materials came off and look what's underneath it I've showed this before do you see what's underneath this this is sandstone oh stay I don't want to chase you down this is a type of sandstone okay 